Hi, I'm Mark Dice, and welcome. Let's uh, move along with this. Alright, uh, let's see. Is that going to be... I was wondering if uh, the executions needed to be activated or not. A lone attempt to find her in the Norse largest city would certainly fail. But Geralt had friends he could count on. The Witcher decided to contact Triss Miracle. But aren't we in Skellige? Shouldn't it be skipping to Skellige? I don't know. Either way, it should be the last thing I did, which, <laughs> fuck if I remember. Oh my god. And my air conditioner is so loud because it is literally like 106 out or something with humidity. I went outside and I started like... Not like sweating, but like where your skin is cold enough that you go outside and you feel like wet instantly. It's gross. Awful, really. You look fucking amazing. Oh yeah. On top of me. Wanna bite me, I forgot we came back. Well, anyway. Now that I'm pressing the right buttons, let's see what we got in quests to do. Anything remotely near. Eh, I could go do that, because I can fast travel to Skellige now. But I know what Furrow's asking, which isn't so bad, I guess. So, might as well go do that. It is night, so I want to stay away from the docks. It looks so sad, it's all closed down. It's like a real evening. That's the only problem with games like these, with like extra fast time, it's really hard to move people in a way that is convincing. That you feel like, you know, you're actually, uh, things are actually happening in the world. Alright. Oh, I think this is where that bitch tower is. As Yennefer of Bengerberg told it, there had been a magic explosion in Skellige. Yeah, I never, did I ever do the tower when I played? It had destroyed a vast swath of forest. Geralt I don't think I did. the Isles to join the sorcerers and seek further clues of Ciri's whereabouts. I think I, uh, did all the treasure quest things for Skellige, went around and got all the treasures. Which, if I ever need money or gear, I can always do that. But, oh god, it sucks. Just driving around, or driving, sailing around on a boat doing nothing for, like, eight hours. Because all of the treasure's everywhere. East. Yeah, what I'm talking about, however, is. Is that not going to show me them? Yeah, these. Uh, these are like all, all over the place. Like, 
There's one, like, up here. There's one, like, over here. There's, like, three, like, right around this island. I think there's... Yeah, there's one down by here. Like, they're everywhere. And they suck. Because you have to... Well, you don't have to, but going to them is awful. And it takes forever because you're sailing. And there's no way to speed it up or fast travel to the area. I could probably do that. I don't want to. And we're going the wrong way. The, uh... This bar is actually really helpful. I think they actually sell... Or is this the one that doesn't sell what I'm looking for? Fancy the ballad of Gudrid Rustbeard or the Saga of the Frost End? I thought there was a bartender in here. Maybe it's on the end. Oof. Uh, whatever. Not a big important thing. Maybe this is the bar. No, this looks like somebody's house. That's somebody's house. He's eating soup. Let's not bother them while they eat their probably fish stew. But one of the bars near here actually has a decent selection of items. And I'm worried I may die when I walk out. I think those are just regular harpies. I don't think they're Arenia. We'll find Arenia soon enough. Which is ultimately what I'm looking for. Yeah, because I think some shit went down up here. You can, like, kill some monsters and I think people come back. Is this the arena? Might be the arena. I really wish you could spot levels from farther. But, oh well. Let's save. Just in case he's really high level. Which he probably is, because this is Skellige. And that's the thing that happens. Skellige. He's level 21. Let's not mess with that. I don't even know what my level is right now. 14, yeah. Oh, yeah, this guy. Thanks, Planetside 2. Well, this might not go well. Through. No sweat off your back. No harm done. Perhaps. But then take no help to us, Snyder. Besides, why do you care? You as nanny or something? No, I'm someone who has weapons and knows how to use them. Hear that, lads. He's threatening us. Let's see if his swords are as sharp as his tongue. Your mouth will jack your heart. Neither grave will take you back.
Ah, people. Thank you, Wanderer. I shall say a prayer for you at my pilgrimage's end. Nice gesture. Thanks. Now, where's your pilgrimage taking you? To the four faces of Hemdal, raised in honor of our Heimdall. great hero. I've heard the legends of Hemdal, a great warrior and first father of the Isles. It's true. And before the advent of Ted there, the final age, he shall return, walk amidst us, and face the evil powers, demons, and specters of chaos. The golden cockerel Camby will crow to warn Hemdal of the coming of the Nargle Fair, bringing the army of darkness. A battle will ensue, Ragnarok, and Hemdal will clash with the forces of the dark. Let's hope he wins. It'll make no difference. The prophecy is clear. After Ragnarok, the world will end. Prophecies can be tricky that way. And there's never an ending that's not also a new beginning, a fresh start. Let us hope you're right, Wanderer. Let us hope you're right. Alright, well that's nice. Looty loot loot. Twine and a sword. And also, let me see. Hold on. I gotta change my controller real quick. Do, do, do. Alright, there we go. Yep, there we go. Yeah, that other one, no matter how much I tap, it does not go. I have to like hit it right in the top corner and screw that. I thought there's something near here. What the hell? Yeah, have fun at your harpy shrine. You think people would come and clear them out? I do appreciate that these islands look like forest wise they look different from the rest of the continent they don't look you know like the exact same forests these are a lot like thicker with heavier underbrush and such it's kind of nice I mean ultimately all the environments look like you know somewhere in Europe but what can you do goats guys. This might get interesting. What do you want? I'm looking for Hammond. What for? Business. He prays at the chapel on the hill this time of day. If it's slaves you're looking to buy, you'll have to wait till he's done. I'll be back. Drink last night too. I wonder if you can walk around. So I know there's an alternate entrance to the village. Curves around, so I think it's somewhere back there. Yeah, Dragas, that's what I thought it was. Dragas are relatively peaceable, they're not always jerks. Some monsters are just super aggressive, mostly the necrophages, but I should just, you know, heal myself. 
but yeah. Also, I mean, swimming in this water, like, phew, nuts of that. Start sliding soon. Uh, Geralt. Thank you. I think there's just that little village, and then... Oh, oh, oh no, those look like harpies. I think there's a nest down there. Oh, no, there... Are they fighting amongst each other? I'm gonna have to go down and see that. If we're gonna do anything. Sirens. They have, a, they have a possibility of dropping on us. Level 18 drowners, though. as we can get. vocal cords siren vocal cords I know vocal cords are used for something yeah I think I'm liking Ard better for uh, for drowners and we have a new slot points hmm. poising the target is nice
Let's see. Because I'm thinking I'm going to want something in that. But I may want more attack. But really, the only thing I want is crippling strikes. And I can get that without. And I mean, these two are fine on their own. This is very helpful. But also, I rarely do it. So there's that. That one is nice. I mean, that one's nice for destroying projectiles. Either way, I'm going to have to reset myself before long. Um, so I can get the stuff that I want. I think I kind of want this. Because I could just max it out right now. I need eight for that one. Cause I didn't do poison blade last time. That's kind of nice. I didn't even know about that. But I don't know if they changed or fixed anything or changed wordings on stuff. Three percent more charges. Huh. I think I might get the oils. I know I wanted something in here, but. The signs are nice, but this one's worthless. All right, let's go for the oils. Because then I can at least hook up a green in there. And this one, the 5% protection is okay. I mean, it's not fantabulous. Alright, so 16 and then 18. So, once I get to level 16, I can at least increase this. Okay, you're really not going to say anything? I thought there was something out here. Remember I have to come back out here to Faro. I know there's a monster quest. Like a witcher contract. Not a show. But, uh, yeah. So... Dragos, I don't really care. It's weird that the Dragos are in cold weather. You think that they would be bothered by that? I think we have to fight him regardless, so we should probably save because that battle went really well, which I'm really surprised at. Normally, when I first start, I suck. Yeah, and you can hear that. Where is it? There he is. This big old snail shell. Yeah, the ones on Skelligar are nasty. Really nasty. Gods of the sea. I've never begrudged you new gifts. Grant me another victory. So I can make you another offer in the build. Don't mind me. Fuck, what now? Heard you were in Keridan's band. Fucking say what you want. Come on, spit it out, you arse-lickin' bastard. I'm looking for Yad Keridan. And just who the hell are you? A friend of a friend. I'm looking for Keridan. 
thought maybe we could make some sort of deal. What? Our business robbing some Novigrad pricks the wrong way? Plowing guilds. Come on, what are you waiting for? Kill the fucker! Fuck yeah! Let's just do some of this. Oh, honeycomb. not a good place to be. You... Choppy choppy. Now let's repair our stuff. I'm surprised I took so many bolts. That was actually quite surprising. I thought I was going to get whooped once the arrows started flying. But. Just do boo do my trousers. I don't want my pants getting destroyed. Yeah. Fuck whatever god allows you to you know grab slaves and sell slaves. Although I do always think it's weird that people offer like tributes to gods but it's weird because it's like what makes you think that you know some all power being wants the same things that you do like that's just weird like what if an all powerful being all he wanted was salt or well, he or she whatever necker card Collect them all. Yeah, well, that's a fuck all mission. Uh, anyway. My weight's good, so I'm okay with that. I thought I could talk to her about those. Let's take go to something else. So yeah, a gold ring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All this crap I picked up. I should probably, one, nope, press the right button. Change out my food again. 
Look, I have 52 waters. And I should probably meditate. I don't think Hammond has any consequence, though. I don't think he's, like, a character of any importance whatsoever to, uh, anything in the story. Like, I don't think there's even a way around killing him. So, it's like, why not just kill him? And let's go kill his little raiding camp, too. You can already see they're upset. Yeah, save. Thank you. Keep together. Archer, you're so dead. That's one batch. There's going to be a lot of people to kill here. But, I mean, I'm already at 246 experience after getting a level. So, pretty nice experience. Mm, plus, there's tons of loots here. Geralt, why do you jump into the most awkward locations? Come on, come get me. after uh, I'm just gonna set you on fire that was satisfying So I guess for heavy armor, it makes more sense to uh, use art on them, because they seem to not be quite as balanced.
So I guess he's stuck. Whoa, whoa. Carol. Teleport jumping. There we go. He's dead now. Next wave. Let's just do that, just in case. Oh god. This is like the worst place. Calling me a sheep shagger. Unacceptable. Alright, well, that's a pirate camp cleaned up. I mean, I know. They're Skelligers. That's what they do. But. They were in my way. And hey, I'm all for people, you know raiding and looting in this kind of day and time, but slaves, not as much. I mean, I guess it's better than the raiders that just kill everybody. You fuck. Yeah, heal me. Like a rabbit, just casually. I'm just gonna clean myself while there's arrows flying around and some guy casted magic. No big deal. You got nothing. I know that wears the shit out of my durability, but... Don't really care. I have enough money. I'm not too worried. Plus, I have lots of repair kits, so... That makes things a little easier. Ooh, I can actually go into this place? I was half expecting a pirate to, like, sneak attack me. Most of the stuff in here is crap, but at least it's crap I can sell. Oh, Guardian Lemon. I can deal with that. <laughs> Why do these guys have so much alchemist powder? Why are you stuck on a jug? Quicksilver solution is nice. Why pay for it? Uh, no. I don't need the signpost. Yeah, do whatever you want, girl. Although I might have to dump some of these battle axes and such. Because I'll probably get pretty weighed down with them. Chest back here. Come on. Stop being fat, Geralt. All there was was a Redanian herbal in the uh, chest. That's really all you're giving me. A candle in a chest. Good to see they have their priorities right. Better lock up this candle so the boys don't steal it.
Alright, is there anything else other than this? Oh, an empty bottle. Once again, pirate priorities. Alright, I think we've pretty much sufficiently looted this place. Because that's why we came in and killed like 30 people. Was I just in here? Yeah, I was. Alright, so this is the wonder for Ro. So that's his prayer place. There's a jerk down there. Already took care of what's up there. I don't know what that is. I don't know if I want to know what that is. But I think I'm going to be stupid and do it anyway. So, right, I take that side trail. Yep. And there's a giant somewhere around there. Or Cyclops. I mean, Cyclops is our giants, but let's be serious here. Excuse me, goats. They're less like goats and more like wild sheep. Like mountain goats. Which, aren't mountain goats closer to sheep? Alright, so that's where the sirens are. I'm also paranoia saving. Let me guess, it's just gonna be a harpy nest. Oh no, that's a shrine. Hmm. And drag is on one side, harpy's on the other. Really, was ever any of the shrine a good idea? Let's see what's on the lower trail. What the hell? Oh, harpies. That was a pirate. I was like, why are there pirates attacking me when there's so many other monsters around me? that right. I guess that's just random harpy attacks I thought there was like a nest or something down there or it's just a treacherous place to walk. Come on. You son of a bitch, Harpy. Thank you. It's, it's dead. And didn't drop anything. Cheap asses. Level 21 giant, I don't think I want to mess with. I think that's a little uh, above Geralt's League right now. Oh, sorry, I'm level 15. So, ooh. Six level difference. Wind's howling. There must be a treasure down there. Usually when you see a lot of them, it means that there's a smuggler's treasure, which is really <sighs> and strange and kind of annoying. Who's this guy? What is it you wish? You're just standing up here for no reason. I guess you're scouting for the town. You are a shield maiden, so really if you're a shield bearer, you shouldn't be like this far away from camp. I think this town has a wyvern problem. I think this might be the town that has it. Hmm. 
but I don't know. I thought there was a quest in this town. Maybe I can't get any of the quests until I go and talk to uh, Crack. It is 4 a.m. Let's box some people. Let's let's punch some people in the face. Challengers. Welcome to our tournament, Witcher. Einar awaits an opponent. Do you wish to face him? Let's not keep Einar waiting. May it be a clean and beautiful fight. He's level 29. I didn't really expect him to be level 29. Since it's my first fight, it doesn't matter anyway. Now that I need uh, a few levels up. That's the other reason why I don't want to do the... The crack fight. Uh, or the crack thing. Because there is a fist fight in it. And if you lose, it's kind of embarrassing. Goddess challenges are up here. What is it you wish? We serve her who was virgin mother and crone. <laughs> uh, guess not. Alright, well, either way, let's at least meditate until people are out so I can sell stuff. Even though now I can, like, teleport to other islands and such. Alright, so this one is the... Not good you hear. A greeting, stranger. Salt air gives a man a powerful thirst, don't it? <laughs> a thirst for gambling. You stock. Yeah, he has some... Some cards. I may just buy them because they're cheap. So, it's not really a big deal. Plus, it gives him more money. But yes, Cherry Cordials, Mandrake Cordials. And he also has Dwarven Spirit. I don't really know what's the difference between a chicken and a roasted chicken. I mean, obviously one's been roasted, duh. But... Still. Uh, yeah, take all my money. And you apparently don't buy anything here. But you do buy this crap. Here, buy this rare candle. Assume that I don't need this now, because they're offering for me to sell it. Don't need black magic dolls. I know I'm not making my money back on this regardless, but let's see. Talisman, snake figurine, incense. Yeah, a lot of the stuff I I guess I can sell it now. I don't want to yet though. Until I'm like right near the end of the game I don't see a, a point in selling them. Oh good, I can sell my beer. 
Here, have this beer I've been carrying in my pack for like months. My sweet bun. There we go. And I highly doubt you buy anything in the weapons category. You do buy horses. Buy horses. Buy horse gear. I don't really want that. These prices are pretty shite, too. I should have the wyvern equipped. Humans and non-humans is pretty good, but... Okay. Well, that's fine. Farewell. There you go. A little profit for you. Because you actually carry products that I want. Most of them don't carry shit. They never have stuff like that. Oh, come no closer. The heat from the furnace is something awful. No, I th I think I'm fine being near a furnace. What's good? Especially if I was on this island, I'd love to be a blacksmith. Be near the furnace all day as opposed to freezing damn cold. Let's see, speaker rug, longsword, ethrolide. Torlan, Melitith, Gamarian Steel, Witch Hunter Sword, Elven Steel Sword. I don't think I really need any of that. That's all junk to me. But let's see. You have Devanas. It's expensive, but I'll buy a Devana. Don't really want a lesser Devana. Um. Can't even equip a Skellige battle axe. Seriously, two eighty nine is pretty good for the Emmentaler. So that might be worth it. Yeah, let's just get rid of it. Doesn't matter. It's just weight. I don't need a cheese sword. A mythical cheese sword. sell that. <clears throat> I can also sell my other runes, thankfully. So I may need to buy some kits. Let's see. Yeah, stun is okay. Freeze is not useful at all. Poisoning is not all that useful. Stagger is not useful in the slightest. Okay, he can't afford anything else. So, what is it I would like to purchase from you? Okay, let's get a six Devana runestone, because I may... I don't think he can craft them, but we'll see. Let's. All right. So, how much would this be if I sold it? Three twenty-one. Oh, he still has money left. Let's sell that. Holding on to the shirts. I could sell these. But I don't know if it's worth it. I do have a lot of armor kits. No, go down.
Uh, maybe I need a, like a few more. But why would you sell those exactly? There we go. Whatever. Close enough. Made the innkeeper so rich. Made the blacksmith poor. Seems like a good deal. <laughs> Let's go meet Lambert and hear his baby bitch crying about stuff. Uh. Before we do that. A quest suddenly popped up here. That's kind of strange. I just get paranoid when the shift, the shadows shift above me, because I'm always paranoid that uh, there's something flying overhead, like a griffin or something. Would you think that would be a legitimate concern if you were a witcher? Oh. No one else dares face me. Is there truly no warrior in all of Skellige who can defeat me? Oh, I might need to save because I think she may kill me. If... I've not seen you here before. What do they call you? Girl of Rivia. I'm Yuta Undimon. No man's been found who could best me in combat. <sighs> Will you fight me? You? I've defeated Pharaoh's most famous warriors. Men so worthy of respect, I don't dare mention their names. And who is Geralt of Rivia? Someone you haven't defeated. Maybe you're not worthy of my time? You performed any great feats? Because I don't believe I've heard. What kind of feats you have in mind? If I'm to fight a witcher, I could use a fitting sword. At the sea's bottom, not far from the shore, lies the wreck of Horned Hoskell's longship. Ah, oh, okay, good. And amidst the I just thought I'd just have to fight her. Hoskell's sword, which legend claims cannot be chipped. Bring it to me, and I'll fight you. Good. I'll give it a shot. See you soon. I truly wonder if you will. Farewell. I wonder what level that quest is. Because I don't think, huh? Yeah, I think the quest is probably too high level for me right now. But if I'm going to do it, it's probably going to be. S Let's see, Iron Maiden. Uh, if I get another level, I could probably do it. She's not really the problem. Pretty sure she'll kill you though if you if you try to fight her and you don't win. You've come a long way. You're right. a witcher, right? I unplug my headset. Decent folk live here. But I think she just makes you go get the sword and do one other thing. Although I think there's a golem protecting the sword, I want to say. I mean, there's nowhere in this world where you can't find a treasure that isn't guarded by like eight different types of murderous things. I mean, literally, you think there'd be thousands of witchers. People would just like, I have extra kids, here you go. Like, defeat more monsters. Drink last night too? Can you toss an axe? My brother can? Well, good for your brother. 
drink last night too? As the Emperor's spies told him, Ceri had reached Novigrad. A lone attempt to find her in the Norse's largest city would I do think it's kind of but Geralt had friends he could count on. I don't know. The Witcher decided to contact Silly that you can go back and forth. Hold on. That was weird. I thought my cat was crying. Which is weird because normally he's asleep during this part of the day, so. All right, Lambert. Sure. Look all pretty suspicious to me. <coughs> yeah, I feel the same, lady. Put some clothes on, dude. What a lovely place. Got this cracking in my spine. Thank you for picking the shittiest place to go to, Lambert. What the hell took you? Pretty likely Keratin lives in Novigrad, and he never severed ties with Hammond. They're actually in business together. Hmm. Learned something, too. He trades in, uh, live goods on the sly. Owns a ship called the Pearl of the Coast. Runs between here and Skellige. Changed his name, too, to Roland Truger, who officially is a respected Novigrad trader and philanthropist. Has a residence in Gildorf. Celise. Hmm. Well, didn't have you there to stand up for her. Yep. He goes back and kills her anyway. Alright. Let's pay Carradine a visit. Because that's just kind of the kind of person he is. Oh man, my fish pillow's breaking. I have to restitch that. I love this pillow. Target doesn't sell it anymore. I think I know how to get in. I got a plan. If your plan doesn't include dealing with an escort of guardsmen, best revise it. Calm now. Let them start it. You're expected. Come in. Well, that was easy. Make yourselves at home. He's a witcher. Very true. Allow me to introduce my wife, Letitia, and my two little tots. You know who I am, and I've heard of you. You've been asking many questions about me. That always draws my attention. What school do you come out of? That of the cat. So few of us left. Which 
villagers can't have children. But they can have wards, or take in a woman along with her children, embrace them as their own. I could understand a witcher becoming a hired assassin, but a merchant? Why ever not? Not one among us doesn't dream of changing our life. I simply did not stop at dreaming. They say no witcher has ever died in his bed. I aim to be the first. It remains to be seen. Lambert's such a dick. Like, yeah, it sucks that your friend died, but this dude doesn't look all that bad. My friend needs to talk to you. <laughs> Would you kill a witcher with a silver sword or a steel sword? Our guests wish to speak to me. I guess a steel sword. Because Geralt could die by a steel sword. Just about anything, really. Sharp rocks. I'm all ears. Talk to him, Geralt. If I do, first word he says to me, I'll lose it and throttle the fucker. Nice place you got. As it turned out, I have a flair for enterprise. Now I have coin enough to provide my family with the finer things in life. With some left over for philanthropy. Miss Marabella's institute does not scorn small donations. Neither does the city's Widows and Orphans Relief Fund, amongst others. Your wife know who you were? We are thoroughly honest with one another. Harbor no secrets. She prays for me each day. You know what? I think it's working. Fucking hell. Relax, Lambert. I confessed all just before we pledged to marry one another. Began a new life that day, with a clean slate. Remember Aiden? A witcher. Murdered in Elander. Guessing the killers were paid well. I remember him as I remember all the others, with the deepest regret. Yet Aiden was different in a way. Contrary to rumor, we did not set out to kill him. We were forced to when he attacked us. What's your version of this story? Aiden had accepted a contract to lift the curse from the Duke's daughter. He took the coin, bungled the job, then left once the girl passed on. You lie. We were not to kill him. We were debt collectors. He'd spent the coin already, so we demanded his swords. When he refused, tempers flared. Bien, positioned as a sniper, lost her nerve. Hit Aiden square in the eye. Later, she devised her own version of the story. To silence her guilt, I expect. I've heard enough. What now? See, that's tough because, I mean, he didn't actually kill them. He was just with a group of people that did. Like, the girl who actually killed them is, you know. So, I mean, we'll leave you alone. Sounds a little eh. Too late to repent is obviously kill him. Your remorse is fake. That's probably a, a thing, too. You've changed. You have. Forgiveness. It's my sole aim now. You're buying this bullshit? Bastard's lying his ass off. Leave him. Let's go. You off your fucking nut? Lambert, this is one of those situations when you have to realize you're pissed as hell. Rein it in and trust your cool-headed friend. Let's go. For fuck's sake, Geralt. Don't know that I'll be able to forgive you. I said let's go. You can always come back. Thank you. See, my thing is, even if he is lying, at least he created a life Explain for himself. Yourself. Don't intend to. Just felt Keratin didn't deserve to be murdered in cold blood. If you feel otherwise, you can always go back without me. I feel like beating the shit out of you. See you later. Someday. So long, Lambert. Yeah, no matter what you do, Lambert's annoyed. 
think we can sneaky sneaky in and I thought there was something we could take here. Yeah, because that door is definitely no. I thought there was something else you could steal. Like you could come back and there was something in here. First they killed my son. Now they'll throw us out into the street. That yeah, sucks for you. Alright, well anyway. Uh let's see what else we can do. It's level 16, so that's around my level. We should just do this one. It doesn't have a a quest limit on it. Let's see. Don't want to do that. I don't really need the bear school stuff. Still can't do that. The gri next Griffin school. Yes. Pretty high up there. I might try to do that next. But I think that's the one guarded by the golem. But, I mean, we are a little bit higher level. Enough that it might actually make a difference. And also, I didn't see the full buff from this. Fifteen percent chance of poisoning. I know none of the textures loaded. That happens. Interesting. What? Looks like a drop of some sort. I'll see this. Level 8. Hells yeah. I've never seen this quest before. Alright, so let's get to Crippled Kate's. Because if this is about Radovid, it'd be nice to get rid of Radovid. Uh, excuse me? Why are you guys attacking me? Your shit. Oh, Horson. Oh, God, that whole Horson quest. That's going to be a thing. You know, a lot of people complain about open world games like this, how there's, you know, all this useless stuff in the way, like stuff that just isn't used for anything. But at the same time, it's also one of those things where it's like, at least this feels like a functioning town. Like it feels like people could legitimately live here. This is an herbalist somewhere around here. On the back side. There we go. A good one to you, young man. Here's all agree, but by your face and straight back, I know you to be in your youth. Greetings. What do you sell? Herbs, young lad. I've all sorts gathered near about. 
You'd be surprised what useful plants grow by the roadside. Not that surprised, actually. Monk's hood, for instance. Lovely blossom. Soothes eggs and uh. eggs just a handful, and you could poison a whole family. Yeah. Because it's what, a neurotoxin? Recommend. Have a look, young man. You seem learned in these matters, so I'll show you my special stock from under the counter. Very good of you, sir. You just might have the herbs I need. Bundle of burdock. Hands moon dust, marva forest. Petri's filter, northern wind, white honey. Let's we'll see. I don't have either of those. Definitely getting that. Pretty sure I don't have enhanced white honey. Definitely getting that. All right, so Marvor Forest, Petri, and white honey. Dark essence for that. Oh, I can make that. Let's do that. Alright, enhanced... Enhanced Marvor Forest. See, I have Marvor Forest done, and I have Petri's Filter. It does not look like I have enhanced... No, I do not. Alright, so I need all three of those. Gimme, gimme. You do not appear to have... You do have buffalo grass, though. Or bison grass. So I'll buy the two bison grass that you have, because... Yes. Alright. Let's see if anything has ingredients missing that I can easily get from him. Uh, let's do that. Yeah, most of these will just be... Could make a reliever's decoction. Don't know if I want to. I might as well make that. It's all junk items. It takes to make it. Uh, need buckthorn. Yeah, wolfsbane and dark essence. I need honeysuckle for that. Oh, more necker hearts. Yay. I really do wish there was a place that actually sold monster parts. Alright. Let's buy like five of them. Oh God, so expensive. Let's buy your two blow balls. Definitely don't need Celandine. Let's buy some Wolfsbane. Why not? I don't like buying it, but I have more than enough money. Bear fat? Oh God. You're robbing me blind, dude. Alright, well, there's some stuff I can sell back to him. Come on. Thank you. That was weird. I know I need a lot of lunar shards. I can sell two of these. I don't need many of these, if any. Uh, Essence of Wraith, we can sell that down a little bit. I know we need a fair amount of them. Oh my god. 
game. Uh, we can saw down some of these. Let's do... 31 should be good. Knock our eyes we can saw down. Come on, thank you. Drowner tongues, we can sell them three. I know we need a lot of drowner tongues. Uh, Dragon hearts will hold on to. Spectre dust will hold on to. Necker warriors, whatever I know I need to keep. deal with some of these mutagens. God damn it. You know, we could sell them three of these. They're worth a lot. Ten crowns is better than nothing. Um, yeah, that's gonna have to be it. I need to break these shells down. I did not get any more beer. He actually has really good prices on trophies. Yeah, let's let's get rid of some of these trophies. They're just taking up space in my inventory. Yeah, I have the other woman's head. Don't really need that one. Don't really need that. Don't really need that. I don't really need the cockatrice. I just keep it. Uh, yeah, you know what? Let's just get rid of that. We really only want the experienced ones anyway, so. Alright, alchemy. One last look at alchemy. Make the relievers and wyverns. This one, all we need is vermilion. And for the hybrids, we need a Rennie eye, right? Yep. Have enough bison grass, which is good. Cursed oil, I think I want to hold off on. Even though I only need a Belis fruit, it's the Ekimara hide. And you don't fight a lot of cursed oils, or cursed ones, so it makes it tough. Cockatrice stomach for that, and Necker warrior liver. It's hybrid oil. Or any eye. Alright, so I need two or any eyes for that either way. So let's make some vermilion. I need decoctions. Good. Make the enhanced white honey. That needs buckthorn. I don't think he sells buckthorn. We need a dark essence for that. I don't even know where you get dark essence anyway. But, let's see. Does he even sell buck? I doubt it. Negative. He does not. We will also buy a bolus fruit. Even though I'm not going to use it right now, I know that later when I do have the stuff, take care. I can make it. That's what counts. What's my weight at anyway? It's 70.
that this is a way to hurt the Church of Eternal Fire. I want to do this. Hemelfart. Gildorf sewers, here's the key. Huh. I know the Vagal Buds have an interesting tale to tell about things. Though I wish there was more you could do about the Eternal Fire. I've tried, it just. I've even, like, load saved and try to do things, but it doesn't seem like there's much you can do about the Church of the Eternal Fire. <clears throat> I don't know if I'm just, like, missing, like, one key quest that would change it. Well, the sewers can be a little dangerous. Shut up. Although, uh, I read an article the other day about, uh, how soon enough they're going to have a whole huge expansion for the game that literally adds, like, a whole nother area to the game. Great. Uh, not what I meant. What are you doing, Geralt? Why did you dodge into them? Balls that one up. Not well, this good to know the spies are dead. Oh yeah, Hindus fall. Wow, one experience point. Dick game. That would have been helpful pretty early on, but not now. Not at all now. I guess they just give you another letter in case you find that chest first, but how would you find that chest first if you had the key? Okay. Yeah, you can take your time exploring the sewer. I'm not going to do that. There's like three or four times you have to come into the sewer. And fuck that. So, what's next? I should do that one. I really should get that one done. Um, Iron Maiden, we're waiting on. I don't know what that one is. You know, since we're in Novigrad, because I don't think there's anything else that I really need to do yet. I know I can get a fair amount of I think there's something I can do first. I 
know nearby her there's a house where a guy is sitting outside and there's a quest for it. And doing that actually leads to a happy ending for something. Like, uh, I'm trying to remember where that damn house is. I mean, it's in a nice place, but a guy asks you about it. Uh, if you can look into the house, because there's something weird going on. Also, I think... Uh, maybe it's not active yet. Just passing by, wanderer, or do you seek something specific? Who's asking? Rudolf de Jonkier. Ah, of yes. Those de Jonkiers, yes. My ancestors yes. laid the foundations of the city. I now own its largest bank. Didn't need a recommendation. Name would have been enough. Father always said, all ought to know your merits, son. Don't hide them under a bushel. I'm looking for Kareem Tilly. Well, you've come to the right place, then. Kareem is inside. Been there for a few days, dreaming the home's history. Why do you need to know the house's history? You a historian, or on a whim? I bought this property a short while ago. Paid a pretty penny, I might add. Soon after, I witnessed disturbances. Led me to fear the home might be haunted. What are the symptoms? Oh, they vary. Giggling in the night. And furniture moving about in the attic. And last week, well, you shan't believe it. I found human feces in the parlor. Not interested in what's going on inside? Seeing it for yourself? I'm a banker. Cursed home scam. Do you know how a haunting can affect property value? Point of fact, Corinne requested she not be disturbed. I'd like to go inside, look around. I don't usually let strangers rummage around my home. Twin swords, though. You're a witcher. You may enter, call that my whim. The second sword, is it in case the first one breaks? Let's let that door shut. Oh, yes. So this house is pretty awesome. Perfume. Grapes. Hmm. I guess grapes are new items. Silver mug. I'm gonna have a full silver set of stuff soon. Huh. Weird. I don't remember ever getting that item. I guess they just throw in new items every once in a while just to kind of set people off. Put it down, please. That's blood. Don't spill it. Please. We'll go there soon enough. Just a dream. Wake up.
The doll. The attic. You. Put it down, please. That's blood. Don't spill it, please. I mean, that sounds so cheesy. That's blood. Don't spill it. Remember, if you spill blood, make sure to throw some over your shoulder. It's for good luck. Let's examine the drawing. I'm gonna send out the dolls there. But we've got stuff to loot. And I'm really not in a hurry to uh, solve this quote unquote haunting. You'd be playing house. Geralt. You get to be the mommy. I don't know. Stop. Go away. Don't do that. Leave it. Geralt, not a master of stairs. Now open it. Thank you. Now we use it. Before I do that. Someone so bad they'll hurt you. Why would someone hurt me? Having a spot of fun's not allowed anymore. What are you playing? That lady fell asleep, and I've sent her some horrible dreams. I'll not her wake neither. I can do that, you know. Funny, isn't it? Very funny. Thing is, I gotta talk to the dreamer. 
So I'd like you to let her wake up. Little Sarah doesn't want her to wake. Little Sarah wants to play. You're lucky. I know you're a harmless godling, but others might not know, and then... And how'd you know I'm a godling, eh? How's that, eh? Eh? If it looks like one and acts like one, trust me, you're a godling. You give the dreamer nightmares and won't let her wake up. Why are you tormenting her? I'm not tormenting anyone. Scary dreams are great. What I love is when this big hen chases me. Hen's got these red. Why do you live in a haunted house? Tell you a secret. <laughs> the house ain't haunted. Not one bit. I just pretend it is. Make everyone think that. It was sitting there all empty. So I moved in. Bigwig from the bank then came and bought it. I don't like bankers, especially not to live with. So I decided to give him a scare. Gave the banker a really big scare. See, he paid a lot for this house and won't give it up easily, which is why you need to find another home. I don't want to! I don't! I won't! Sarah, Novigrad's no place for a godling. But if you want to live here, that's your business. So let's make a deal. A deal? What kind? Leave the dreamer alone. In exchange, I'll tell the banker the house is haunted. For good, no way to lift the curse. You tell him that? What if he doesn't believe you? I'm a witcher. He'll believe me. Yes? 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 Do that and I promise not to bother your friend. Not even a little. You're awfully nice, you know. I don't hear that often. Thanks. Now go wake that sleepyhead. I won't stop her. She'll get up. But I have one more thing to do. Oh, baby diamond dust. Alright, now don't get stuck. I love how they make you think there's like this whole big elven ruin under here when there's just not. It's just literally a little treasure cave and that's it. Let's see something. Can you talk to her again? No, apparently not. Take Johnny for a visit to Novigrad. Then again, how do godlings reproduce? I mean, that's a really good question. They all look like creepy children anyway, but... Who are you? Triss Marigold sent me to see you. Gods. Horrible nightmares. I was supposed to dream the history of this house. Instead, I saw furniture. Hungry furniture that wished to devour me. I know it must sound foolish. But in the dream, well, it was all too real, and not at all amusing. The work of a godling. She made people believe the house was haunted. Also injected your dreams with her little jokes. And you managed to wake me. I feel fortunate. We witchers have our ways. I thank you, very much. The dreams, they were awful. Any way I can pay you back? There is, actually. I'm looking for a young woman who was seen in Novigrad. I can certainly try to help, but I'll need to clear my head first. After those deranged dreams, I feel it's full of cobwebs. Find me at the Golden Sturgeon. I rent a room there. All right. See you there. Pretty convincing haunting. No, to the layperson. I saw Miss Corrine leave, but she refused to speak to me. Is the matter resolved? Quite the opposite.
So here's the tough part. Because I think if you say can't seem to lift the curse, I think he tries to find something else. Got a godling in your house. Name's Sarah, and she's an ornery little thing. Left her alone, but thought I should tell you about her. I thank you for being candid. Could you rid me of this beast? You can do it yourself. Just burn some burdock in the oven. She's sure to run. Godlings detest the smoke. I will not wage war on a beast, large or small. Piss on the godling, piss on the house. I must merely find a fool willing to buy it. Sir, I beg your pardon. Yeah, because I think if you do that, she buys the house instead. Spoiler alert. Seems to be a new quest. Unless it's the. Let's just take that. I thought I already took that. Just to get it out of my inventory, or out of the thing. Uh? Ah, oh, Nidus. A witcher? You're paying the ass. <laughs> You're about the notice by chance. Not quite, but what's it about? I hear right. You're going on some voyage. Need a companion. Not just some voyage. Cross the sea. Mark this. When I got pressed into the infantry in 1242, I promised my beloved Letta I'd return alive, whole, and with a pearl from Skellige. Not just any pearl either. A black one. The rarest and most precious. Well, well. Ambitious. Perhaps. But they were empty words. I came from the war. That one and the next. But I never fulfilled my promise. I time to change that. For if not now, then when? Thing is, I've grown old in the meantime, as you see. Can't manage it alone. Need a strong shoulder to lean on. With your shoulders as strong as they come. So... What do you say? Plan's crazier than it is sane. But there's an irresistible charm to it. Offer me some pay and I'll help you out. Don't you fret about coin. I brought home a good deal of it from various fronts. Say we meet in Skellige, by the collapsed bridge near Arenbjorn. It's but a hop away from the bed where black pearls are born. Will that work for you? Sounds fine. See you there. Yeah, uh, Black Pearl is such a pain in the butt quest. But I am actually going to be back in just one second. I gotta go do something, so I'll be right back.
Alright, I'm back. The Onomancer, whatever, dream. Dream Scryer. A dream in here. Never witnessed a seance like this before, let alone participated. I will guide you. You must first achieve a kind of mental accord. I must ask some questions. You must answer them. It's important you're truthful. Answer from your heart. Do I have to? Let's begin. To start with, tell me a memory you have of this woman. What for? Do as I ask. Yeah, I need really. the strongest, most complete memory you have of... Siri. The woman's name is Siri. I accepted a job once. Did it. Asked to choose my reward, I invoked the law of surprise. Never thought I'd actually meet the child promised to me at that time. Years later, I was in the Broccolon Forest. Happened on a girl there. Didn't know who she was. The Dryads wanted to keep her, turn her into one of their own. But the Waters of Oblivion? They failed in her case. Siri came out of Broccolon with me. I sent her back to her grandmother then, but already I felt bound to her. By destiny. By something more. Thank you. Would you be willing to share another memory? Yes. No need to rush. We have time. Siri was orphaned during the second war with Nilfgaard. I had no idea what to do with a young girl. So I did what I would have done with a boy, and took her to Kaer Morin. Figured some physical training, sword work, development of her stamina, couldn't hurt. I remember her standing on a crumbling wall. A stone came loose, she lost her footing. Caught her at the last possible instant. Strongest memory, though, is of her coming out of her room one day. Wearing a dress, and claiming she was indisposed. Knew then that Siri was maturing. It was unavoidable. I was lost in the face of that. I see. Do you wish to tell me anything more? Of course. Yes, I think so. In that case, I'm listening. It was after her time training at Kaer Morhen. After the moment when Yennefer first called Ciri her daughter. We'd been separated. I knew she was in danger. I dreamt of her multiple times. I found her at Stiga Castle. She'd gone there to free Yen and gotten herself captured in the process. They wanted to hurt her. I remember fighting side by side with Ciri on stairs slippery from blood. It was the first time she ever deflected a crossbow bolt with her sword. Told her never to try it again. These memories, they're intense. Do you wish to continue? Yes, I do. I have more to say. Then please do. It was in Rivia. The second war with Nilfgaard had just ended. There was still tension in the air. For gods know what reason race riots erupted in the town. I tried to do something, but couldn't stop a riled crowd. A boy with a pitchfork. He ran it right through my gut. These were apple trees blue. You claim the woman has abilities. Tell me about them. She's a child of the Elder Blood. A descendant of Bloody Falcon? 
The red will burned at the stake. The prophecies claim the world's destroyer will be born of the Firebrand's cursed blood. You're a legend. No one in legend transforms into prophecy. When it gains believers. I think you're right to be reticent in talking about the Lord. I see. Do you wish to say more? Really, you guys are mowing the lawn today? What is, is, do they mow the lawn like every Wednesday? I think that's the rule now. Yeah, there's something else. They call Siri the Lady of Space and Time. Once I asked Jennifer why, she travels between worlds. <laughs> Turns out I don't know how to talk about it. Didn't really understand much of what Yen told me. I just know there's more to it than traveling to different places, and that Siri carries immense power in her blood. I see. Do you wish to say more? Yeah, there's something else. I remember Siri having trouble controlling her abilities. Jennifer tried to teach her to cast simple spells. And Siri destroyed a shed near the temple where they were. It really upset her, but it was just an old shed. I know it took her a while to gain control. And frankly, I doubt she controls her abilities fully to this day. I see. Do you wish to say more? No. Can we start? Naturally. I knew you cared about her. But your tone, the emotions you so carefully conceal. Let's continue. Please. Make yourself comfortable and try to relax. You must take my hand and talk of Siri. Tell me where you think she might be. Who could be at her side? Mm -hmm. If Siri couldn't find me, I'm sure she would have looked for another friend. Who do you mean? 